Hi, welcome to another episode of Medicine Simplified. Today we will know about mechanism of action of NSI drugs. We all know that NSIs are classified into four groups. First one is non-selective COX inhibitor. Second one, preferential COX-2 inhibitor. Third, selective COX-2 inhibitor. Fourth one, analgesic antipyretic with poor anti-inflammatory action. To know the mechanism of action of NSAIDs, first we have to know about synthesis of pain and inflammatory mediators. So, we all know that cellular membrane is made up of bilayered phospholipids. When there is an injury to cellular membrane phospholipids, arconic acid is released with the help of phospholipase A2, which is then converted into prostaglandins and leukotriens. Prostaglandins are produced with the help of cyclooxygenase enzyme. There are two iso enzymes of COX, which is COX1 and COX2. Prostaglandin G2 is converted into PGH2, which is further subdivided into prostaglandin D2, prostaglandin F2 alpha, prostaglandin I2, prostaglandin A2. There is a release of thromboxane A2 but there is no role of thromboxane A2 in pain inflammation. NSI drugs inhibit synthesis of cyclooxygenase enzyme, which is required to convert arconic acid into prostaglandins, which are important pain and inflammatory mediators. There are two cyclooxygenase isoenzymes, COX-1 and COX-2. COX-1 is always present in the body and maintains JAT mucosal lining and kidney functions. Coming to the COX-2, it is synthesized during inflammatory stimuli. Some group of NSAIDs act both on COX-1 and COX-2. Some preferentially and selectively act on COX-2. This is how NSAID drugs inhibit pain by acting on cyclooxygenase enzyme. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you.